So, now for what I think are the most two versatile pieces of travel kit that any adventurous traveller just can't do without. Tropical poncho and quilt. Now these are blatant copies of two things originally produced for the American Army in Vietnam. Probably the best thing to have come out of that war. And over the years Nomad has changed and altered them to really fit the traveller's needs. Originally called the Tropical Poncho, this is now called the Variant 3 because we've changed it three times from its original make. So let's start with the Variant 3. Very compact and light. This is an all-in-one sleeping bag, sheet, etc. Let me show you what it's like. Just undo the compression straps. Undo the top. And out it pops. Now, very, very good filling inside it. Very light. Very warm when you need it. Um, and a very light fabric outer. Really meaning that this is a great thing for travel, is that this thing will wash and dry in 20 minutes. So you can get down and dirty and before you know it's clean. So what we're looking at is a sleeping bag. Zips at the side, zip at the bottom. Independent zip at the bottom, so you can just, if it gets too hot, you just open up the feet, get air inside. Very, very good. And that will open up completely, like that. Same with the top. Undo the side zip. And you've now got a big quilt. Now that's pretty much the size of a small double bed or medium sized double bed. So if it's really hot you can just lay that on the bed. You might be in a room you're not sure what the bedding's like. Lay it on the bed and it's absolutely fine. This is where it gets really clever. In the middle, there's some Velcro. Open the Velcro up. So you know what it's like, you've got a train to catch, you're going to be on for hours, you've got a coach. All you do is stick it over your head and it's not going to slip off. You can sit in peace, fall asleep, and it's there. Alternatively, you can just whip it around your shoulders. So you use it anywhere very 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 practical piece of equipment that's the quilt and I'll come back to that in a minute and we've got the poncho so what's so good about a poncho you know you go into a country like this we're up in the hills in India and sometimes it rains but you know when it rains sometimes it's hot well the great thing about a poncho is it's very very it's because it's sort of voluminous you get lots of air coming inside it so it can keep you quite cool but how much does a traveller really use a, a waterproof? Well, not that much. You know, either it's too hot or if it's raining, you just keep out the rain. So it sits in your bag, not doing anything. Now, the great thing about a poncho is it's more than a rainproof. There you are. Nice big poncho. Good hood. But the great thing about a poncho is you're out walking. You want a quick sit down, just lay it down on the floor and you've got a ground sheet. Alternatively, it might be sunny, it might be rainy, you might want to sleep out, you might just need a bit of shelter. Well, a poncho is just a big rain shelter. You can hang up, string up, and get under from sun or rain, it's practical for both. And this is the really clever bit, these two pieces we've made to go together. You know, you've got that opening in the middle of the quilt, Like that. You've got the opening on the poncho, where well, these two pieces of kit fit together. So you've got lots of grommets all around the poncho, and you've got ties around the quilt, and this will fit together ideally. Right, we're just going to cut while I tie this in, because that will take a little bit too long to have you hanging around. Cut!
Okay, so we're all tied in, and this is where it gets really clever. So what you do is you do your sleeping bag up again, your bottom zips, right here. Zip that up. Your side zips. And it pops. Now, the other thing on the poncho is you've got two rows of press studs. They're alternating press studs, so you just pop these little babies up. Pop them up all along. All along, all along, all along. Whoops, missed one. And make sure that the flap, we've got two flaps, the one is facing down. Seal off the hood. And you've now got, and this I'll show you because it's so comfortable, off with the shoes, a waterproof sleeping bag. So you can actually sleep outdoors with this one. Oh, that's better. And of course, with the waterproof part, this will increase the, because you haven't got the airflow, it'll increase the warmth of the quilt quite a lot. That's lovely. So that's the, as a sleeping bag. Of course, the other thing you can do, undo your poppers. Just get out. Undo the poppers. Undo the zip. There we go. That's all off. <laughs> and coming up, up, up. Thanks, Gav. Because you've got the opening on the quilt right opposite the poncho, you can stick it on. Voila! You've now got a quilted poncho. So going walking in the hills, absolutely brilliant. One big problem though, and this is where what we've done recently to really make this poncho something special, you've got an extension on the back. Now that you're only ever going to use if you've got a big backpack on to make sure it covers the back so it still comes down. Or if you're using it as a tarpaulin maybe to cover a hammock and you need some extra length. So for me, being short, off comes the back. Just a little zip-on section there. All my KK zips, so you won't get any problem with the zips. Put that aside. Now, great length, you don't need any trousers with it, but if you're walking up in these hills, you're stepping up a lot, the one big problem with the poncho is you step on it and fall head over heels. So, this has taken a bit of working out. We've got some Velcro at the sides. So you just pin up the Velcro, both sides. A little bit of adjustment there, depending on how tall you are. That shortens the side. Oh no, look, it's still dropping in the middle. So, lift up the middle, and you will find a little hook of fabric. And if you go right to your neck, you'll find a little clip and all you do is reach down, get your clip, get your hook, hook the clip onto the fabric and now look at that, eh? shortened, just, a, just the length of a waterproof jacket, legs are free, step up, step down, you're free to go off walking. So quilt, poncho, you can just see how versatile it is and rather than a waterproof and a sleeping bag just sitting in your bag for most of your trip not doing anything, this thing, cup, this thing cups in and out all the time. So you haven't got something in your bag taking up loads of space and never being used. So I'd never go anywhere without them.